Hello my friend, welcome back to my channel. Today was a very rainy and cloudy day, so I decided it would be a great day for cleaning the house. In this video I will bring you along. I started with removing last week's laundry from the rack to clear up some space. After that I headed over to the bedroom, where I started with making the bed. My duvet always gets very messy, so I make sure I tuck it in properly. Here I'm just tidying my nightstand. The clothing chair. Everyone has one of these, right? Mine always gets messy within a day. So here I'm just folding the clothes that can be worn a second time and sort clothes that need to go in the laundry. Folding the bed sheet is always difficult to do on your own, but I'm managing quite fine. I got this linen bed sheet about a year ago and I like it a lot better than the cotton sheets. Once my old sheets are worn out, I think I will switch completely to linen sheets. I fold the rest of my laundry on the floor, so it's important to vacuum first. I'm making sure I'm not missing any corners. So I just remove the chairs and put them back when everything's clean. Folding laundry is always one of my favorite tasks. I don't know why, there's something just so therapeutic about it. Do you like folding your laundry? I use the Komari method for folding my clothes. This method is actually meant for people with drawers, but I put my clothes just sideways on the shelf so I can still see everything I own. Ah, so satisfying. Now I'm continuing downstairs. I start by clearing the table and then I head into the kitchen to get some warm water. I'm using this Dr. Bonner soap with lavender scent. It's time for the window sills. They always get really dirty because our dog tries to sit in them. I am removing the plants and then dusting away, making sure I get all the dirt off. Now I'm continuing with cleaning all the surfaces, the tables, the side tables, you get the drill. I don't know why, but I always forget about this side table, so it was really in need of a good clean. I'm also wiping down this pot. The other day we put this plant outside in the rain. The plant loved it, but the pot got really muddy. Now I'm heading over to the fireplace. It always gets very dusty and messy because of all the ashes. So I'm giving everything a good wipe down and putting everything in its place. I'm cleaning the glass door with just some water. Even cold water works perfectly. There's really no need to buy a special cleaner for this. Continuing with the other window sill, I'm just repeating the same process of removing the plants and then wiping down the surfaces. After it's nice and clean, I put back the plants. I love this lamp, but it needs quite a lot of dusting because it's very noticeable when the light bulbs are dirty. Wouldn't want to have dust on there. Wiping down the coffee table. Do you see how dirty it got underneath that pot? It's time to clean our couch. Our pillows always end up everywhere. <laughs> so I started by removing them all. Then I just vacuum all the surfaces of the couch. Our dog is allowed to sit and play on the couch. It's all great, but the result is a couch with a lot of sand and fur on it. I also make sure to clean all the edges in between the pillows of the couch. And 
then I'm continuing the vacuuming party. I used to dislike vacuuming, but I don't mind it as much anymore. Plus, I really love having a clean floor, so it is absolutely worth the effort for me. I'm also cleaning behind the dog crate, fur often piles up there. There's always a lot of sand underneath our shoe rack. I guess it's because we walk a lot in nature and we take all the sand inside. Also can't forget about the doormat. I'm starting in the kitchen with putting in a new garbage bag. Wow, what a mess. I'm starting with descaling the, our coffee machine. It literally takes 45 minutes to finish the descaling cycle, so I always like to do this while doing other tasks in the kitchen. I wanted to film a full time lapse of our dishes, but my battery died. But you're probably not that interested in my dishes anyway, so you're lucky. Now that our machine is scale free, I'm wiping down the outside so it's nice and shiny. Our little cactus is blooming! Look how cute! I'm cleaning the countertops with a non-toxic biodegradable cleaner. Once I run out of this cleaner, I want to try cleaning the kitchen with just regular cleaning vinegar, but I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. I feel like this video is a lot of my back and butt, so enjoy! <laughs> Here I'm dusting off our fruit bowl. I got this fruit bowl as a birthday gift a couple of years ago. Here I'm clearing everything off our gas stove top so I can clean everything thoroughly. I'm also cleaning the stone wall behind the gas stove. I really don't know how you call this part in English. If you know, tell me in the comments down below how this part of the kitchen is called. I'm replacing the kitchen towels for fresh ones. And then I head over to the sink to give it a proper deep clean. I clean it with baking soda and warm water mixed with cleaning vinegar. When you put the both together, it gives a really nice fizzing effect and that cleans really well. With a cat and dog in our house, the cabinet doors get really dirty. They always collect paws on them, so here I'm removing all the paw prints. Here I'm just doing some dusting and tidying up the space. And last but not least, we're moving to the bathroom. We're almost done! I'm starting with adding some backup toilet paper. This toilet cleaner needs to sit for a couple of minutes, so I put this in first and start cleaning the tub while that rests. I'm just wiping down the tub with a bathroom cleanser. After a couple of minutes I'm brushing the toilet and wiping down surfaces. Now I'm heading over to the shower and doing exactly the same as with the bathtub. Here I'm making sure I'm also dusting off the edges. I'm putting all the towels in the laundry and replacing them with fresh ones. Cleaning my mirror with cleaning vinegar. I've tried many products to clean my mirrors with, but good old cleaning vinegar works just the best for me. I'm using the same cleaning vinegar to clean the rest of the sink. The 
Last but not least, I'm putting in a load of laundry. I'm using a homemade non-toxic detergent, which leaves my laundry clean and fresh smelling. Well guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you found some cleaning inspiration from it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!